voices here today uh, speak loudly to that example and offering them the support that, that the world really needs to, to offer right now. So thank you. The reason we are we are here in Moldova with a multi-religious delegation of faith leaders from all over the world is in order to ensure that we can show gratitude and spiritual solidarity with the Ukrainians in Moldova and the people of Moldova for hosting them as well as to contribute practically very pragmatically to the work of UNHCR as it cares for both the host communities and refugees. The quest for peace has been with humanity ever since, from time immemorial. We need peace within us, we need peace within the families, within the communities, within the society. So when we have peace inside, we can generate peace outside. Peace is what religions teach us. Peace is the mandate for the UN. So we need peace urgently, because without peace, there's always conflict, and conflict brings suffering, pain, and it does nobody no good. And if the whole of this humanity is one family, we are all God's children. I would like to warmly welcome the Religions for Peace delegation here. The presence in Moldova of this uh, very precious and very prestigious delegation it means a lot to a country that is small has overstretched the resources but nevertheless has given solidarity in an exemplary way to the refugee coming since the 24th of february when the war in ukraine started and thousands of refugees arrived in moldova 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 government moldovan people have opened their houses have opened their hearts to receive with the an incredible solidarity, people that were in need of uh, not only protection, but also uh, a warm hug that is the one that is given by, by like a family. And Moldova was and his family for many refugees till now. According to, to Jewish tradition, uh, Abraham, our common father, his tent was open on four sides, four entrances. So when there would be a visitor coming, they wouldn't have to walk around to the other side, welcoming the stranger. We opened them from all sides, just as Abraham, our father. <laughs> Уезжайте из порта, это небезопасно. Если ты не веришь и не связан с Богом, ты не связан со всеми остальными And the mission is to bring what we can, more love and respect for those people. We need to, to show more solidarity. These communities have contributed to this fund, and it's from this fund that we have organized this mission and that our faith leaders are donating to your efforts. 
That's here. so grateful. I'm so grateful for this. Thank you, Thank you very much for trusting us. Oh, I will use your time. Thank you so much. There is a particular kind of mercy that takes place when the different religious leaders and representatives of faith institutions come together. And that is the mercy that defines the mission of Religions for Peace. We came together in Moldova, a country with that is considered small and poor, and yet with tremendous heart and tremendous grace, to work with a UN entity that has devoted itself to one of the most critical areas of human existence, which is statelessness, homelessness, being without country and nation. Today, unfortunately, we have over 100 million refugees and stateless people. The mission of UNHCR is more critical than ever. Therefore, the mission of Religions for Peace since time immemorial, to come together as religious leaders and institutions to support the United Nations in serving the peoples and the planet is also ever more pertinent. We saw today in this gathering, which included the local religious leaders from every single faith tradition here in Moldova, and from neighboring Romania, and from neighboring Poland, and from the world, where we had our leaders from Japan, from France, from the UK, um, we could see very clearly the spirit that is ultimately, I believe, the divine spirit. When these religions and faiths come together, as they serve humanity, that is bringing the mission of our different faiths together to serve, such that no one is left behind. This is what this purpose was, and it is only the beginning. Uh, this meeting is very important because maybe we can do together what we are not able to do alone. I think this is the importance of this meeting. Moldova is a small country, but it is a very strong heart. I have been in Moldova for a long time. I have been in Moldova for a long time. I have been in Moldova for a long time. ここに来て共に集ったことで、えー、孤独を抱えたコミュニティの皆さんが一堂に集うことができて、えー、ここにも諸宗教対話の目が今このウクライナの危機という悲しい出来事の結果ではあるんですけれどもここにまた宗教協力の目が生まれたということを私は目撃をさせていただいてとても嬉しく感じていますこれからのウクライナとモルドバの将来にとても希望が見えるようなそんな一日を過ごすことができました。tweak and refine their strategy in terms of helping those refugees who need our help. Well, we're just concluding a unique meeting of faith leaders from across the world who've come to this dialogue in Moldova to recognize the, the, uh, a small country with a big heart that has provided so much support for refugees coming from the war in Ukraine. It's brought together faith leaders of every kind uh, because they have the same objective. That is to work together to uh, provide a humanitarian response, response globally to the, the plight of so many million people uh, leaving, the, leaving Ukraine, seeking international peace and security. Thank mm -hmm. you.